Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching a map tour of No Man's Land by Alien Jim. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, today we are going to do a map tour of No Man's Land by Alien Jim. And I've been wandering around for quite some time. I finally made my way back. Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what. Um, a couple things to get out of the way right away is... This gameplay has been started off on new farmer mode. That way you know what you would start off with if you started off in new farmer's mode. But before we get to anything else, we're going to go ahead and read what the description says in Mod Hub. Between the borders of France and Spain lies a vast emptiness known as No Man's Land where the land has lain untouched by hands of man for years. Do you have what it takes to transform this wilderness into just a basic farm or a great thriving dairy, wool, or logging empire? It's all about survival of the fittest. Build your livelihood with the help of placeable buildings, cell points, and decor. No neighbors to stop your advancement or bog down with contracts for field work. There is only one road in and one road out. So no need for transporting of goods. It's all in your capable hands. Do you have what it takes to survive or will you give up and return to the city? There are options to remove all trees and rocks from the map to help aid in your discovery of your inner farmer. I hope you enjoy the survival mode. And it has a note on there that No Man's Land placeable pack will be available as soon as possible. So that's great to look forward to. All right, so No Man's Land as of right now is on PC only. I have a strong feeling that once Giants gets some of its bugs worked out with console and the mods, that we will be seeing this drop on console very, very soon. So you have that to look forward to. Now this map is 60.42 megabytes, and like I said before, it is by the Alien Gym. And as I said before, we are starting off in new farmer mode, so you know what you have when you have it. Um, one thing that I noticed when starting off on this, um, you do end up having, no matter if you're in new farmer mode, farm manager, or start from scratch, you still have all of the bits and pieces of equipment that you would start off with normally. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have four bits and pieces of equipment right off the bat here. So let's come in here. And actually, let's come in through this way right here. You start off with small tractors, just one, just a little old Steyr. And I tell you what, it's a workhorse. I tell you, you're going to have fun with that guy right there. Harvesters, you got yourself a Rothless Mesh, and you also have one grain header to go with it. Um, for vehicles-wise, you have your trusty Lizard Pickup 1986 version beautiful red you're gonna love that too i tell you what trailers you have yourself one half pipe trailer you have yourself one pottinger plow cultivators you have one rab or rabby i'm not sure how you say it cedars you have the nordenstein that's uh not too shabby and weights you have one egg go so that's not too bad. I mean, that's what you start off with. It is not bad at all. Um, and like I said, all farming modes as of this moment, when I'm doing this, you start off with all those vehicles no matter what. So that you have to look forward to. Um, so now we'll kind of take a look at this uh, really quick, actually. Um, when you do start off in new farmer mode, you start off with this plot right here, plot 26. And as you can see, this 
entire map is just one big grid and every let's go by uh, every last piece of farmland or plot that you can buy costs the exact same amount which is eighty five thousand dollars which okay might not seem like too much but new farmer mode if you want to buy a second plot of land you go ahead and that knocks out just about everything you got so you have that going for you now you will see over here this field this or i should say this plot 33 that we have here actually has a patch of grapes on it we'll drive pie over there and take a peek at that um for those of you who have played uh, no man's land on fs19 this is going to be a neat little new feature so you want to pay attention to this once we get over here but as for right now on fs22 this is what we got and you start off with this chunk of land and that's it we'll come over here and take a peek at this there are absolutely no contracts at all you'll never get contracts on here and when it comes to the amount of cash, uh, like I said before, you do start off with $100,000 on this mode. Um, on Farm Manager mode, you start off with $1.5 And when you click Start from Scratch, you start off with $500,000. And you also start off with $200,000 of loan. So in all reality, your net amount of money that you actually have is only three hundred thousand dollars not a bad way to go if you want to really start off with nothing and challenge yourself so in no man's land i'm actually going to go ahead and bring this little corner map up so you guys can follow along with me in no man's land all of your places your cell points to begin with start up here at this this one little section here on plot 56 which is the bottom center of the map as you can see there by that it's all the bottom center of the map all right so we'll come back up here get that back on you have your animal dealer right here nice and convenient next to your re your refilling station um this is your shop it's not a not a, it's not a bad shop by any means <laughs> and everything that you buy will end up spawning right out in front here so that's pretty slick um here you actually have two cell points one right up here one over here and then you have this guy right here now what you can do with this is you can actually buy grains and other bits and pieces so let's say you want to you want to put pigs out here or something like that well pigs need corn to eat you can actually come to this location right here and buy corn in bulk so you that's an option you can go ahead and do um and that's and guys that that's it that's it that's it that's it for up here not much uh, so we'll go ahead and hop in the truck here and we'll drive out to the starting farm location if you were to start off in new farmer mode um, so as some of you guys do know this like I said before this was an FS 19 map by alien Jim and it it really took everything by storm and I'm pretty happy to see that this got converted over into FS 22 uh, just being a fan favorite of so many people, it, it's great to be able to see an updated version, a facelift, if you will, to be able to go in and jump jump back into those old memories that you had. And I tell you what, so far, just taking a look around on the map here, I, I have not been disappointed. It's been pretty darn slick. Um, so when you come over to your starting farm area, you have a little shed area. It's not too bad. You have one field that has been more than slightly neglected. I mean, it's it's pretty beat up. It needs lime. It has rocks. It's withered crops. It's got dead weeds in it. I mean, it's just destroyed. You got your work cut out for you, and that's for sure. Um, if you come over here by the lake, you actually have a water tower that you can go ahead and fill up. Um, and that's, you know, for going ahead and taking care of your animals and whatnot, that's pretty darn slick. As you come on over here, you have yourself a silo. You put your, si your, put your grains and minerals in here. Uh, and then you go ahead and you can get them out in that location right there. And you have this really neat workshop here. It's kind of nice versus having the standard uh, in-game. It's just a neat little feature where you can actually come inside, 
to actually go ahead and repair stuff. So you have to come in and get your tools before you come out here and actually do your fixing and your repairing. So that's pretty darn slick. Now as we head over here to the large barn, <laughs> uh, you'll see this is where we got all of our equipment over here. And one thing that I want to point out to you, I'm going to bring this screen up for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, nope, not that one. There we go, that one. If you take a look at this, all of the equipment that you have has been abused and used and absolutely just worked to the bone over the months or years. Lots of hours have been put on. Everything is damaged. You have to repair everything. And everything's been damaged and used and worn out so much that the value of the vehicle is almost nothing. It's not very good. So any of this stuff that you have in here, if you thought is, well, I'll just get this, sell it off, well, you're not going to get too much for it. So keep that in mind if you do want to start on new farmer mode and then sell all of this. You're actually going to end up making more money if you start off in farm manager mode. Just as a heads up if that's what you want to do. Um, so you do have your house over here. Let's see, can we go in? Yes, we can go in. Oh my gosh, you got your TV, your heater, washer, you got your gaming system, your cow's gaming system. <laughs> and here is your sleep trigger, so that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry. Here is your wardrobe, and then there is your sleep trigger. That's silly me, I should have known. You got some luggage, bits and pieces up here. Overall, not a bad, oh, neat, you got some lights in here too. Overall, not a bad little setup. It's, it's home, but only in the sense that that's where you sleep, so you got that going for you. Nice little outhouse over there, and like I said, you do have just this one field. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and drive around a little bit on the map off-road it. I normally like to go ahead and do this, drive through fields and all sorts of stuff like that on other maps that have a bunch of fields and whatnot to it, but this is no man's land. There are no other fields. So we're going to go ahead and drive around and just kind of look at the terrain that you could possibly run into and see and investigate. All right, so let's come on over here. You guys see there are some nice little hilly areas, and I'm heading this way on purpose because this chunk of land right over here, which is this mainly, it's uh, mainly it's on plot number 22 and 12, but this area over here is the biggest area of forestry, if that's what you're into. And that's one of the neat things about this map and virtually all the farm sin maps that are out there. You have the option of doing what you want on it. Um, this, if you're up for forestry and that's your bread and butter, you know, you do have this nice large area right there. Um, one of the things I do want to point out, because it, it does hold pretty true throughout the entire map. If you are looking for some very flat land, or at least relatively flat land, you're going to want to stick towards the center of the map. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, uh, need, needing more horsepower for your equipment, you're going to want to kind of go towards the outer edges of the map, because as you can see, that's a relatively steep hill. If you're looking to farm on that or anything over towards the edges where you do have these large inclines, you're definitely going to want to have something with a little bit more giddy up underneath the hood. And also with that being said, as I said before, towards the center of the map, you have a little bit more flatter land. So the requirements for horsepower and whatnot are going to be pretty much spot on. You're not going to really have to upsize anything unless you like lots of power. Now, this is what I was talking about before when you have this new section of farmland, I guess, essentially, that's slightly different from FS19. And FS19, none of this was here. FS22, on the other hand, we have grapes and grape vines. Now, obviously, they're all withered just like the other stuff, but at least all of this is already in place, and it gives you the option 
to move forward. And it's kind of nice because now, instead of just having the one location over there where you can start, you can have this location. Now, I uh, to be honest with you, there's there's not much you can fit in here. I'm not even sure if those narrow tractors can fit through these doors. So you really can't store anything in here. It's primarily for decoration. Unless you're looking to go ahead and use this for storage of pallets and whatnot, I'm pretty sure a little fork truck can make it through here and you can store everything that you want in this area. If not, it looks neat. I mean, come on, it really does look neat. <laughs> Oh man, so this is this is pretty cool over here. Um, now, when FS19 Alien Gem came out with No Man's Land, um, you know, I tried getting into it, and the couple times that I was giving her a shot, this was the area that I liked to be. So this is kind of neat that this little area that I like to set up in works out pretty darn cool. Now, everybody knows no man's land or at least most people know of no man's land i'm not not getting after you if you haven't done this before um but where which area is the area comment down below which area is the area that you guys actually like to start in if you have played this before just just throwing that out there i'm curious to see what people have to say um but there's one more thing i want to take and show you because like i said in the very beginning there is an area where you can remove all of the trees on the map and all of the rocks on the map so you choose so this is that area right here these are the two posts and let's take a look and see what these posts say cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all trees from the map this will not include trees around the edge of the map like the like the border areas we'll cut that down in just a second here um oh no we'll do it right now let's let's do it you do not have access to this land all right so we got that land purchased really quick here so you guys can see what ends up happening and just like that all of the trees on the map are gone except for the little border stuff as you can see that stuff is still there and now you see how there's that outcropping of rocks over there well let's take a look at that cutting the signpost with the chainsaw will permanently remove all rocks from the map this will not include rocks around the edge of the map all right now all of the trees are gone and all of the rocks are gone if you want that truly truly barren feel this is definitely something that you'd want to do now you don't have to do that but I just want to come up here and show you so when you go ahead and remove that all of this all the rocks are gr are gone and now what you're looking at is just painted terrain that's it there aren't any physical rocks in the way to slow you down if that's what you want to do by all means go ahead and do that I think that's one of the coolest things about this map right here is the fact that you have the option to do whatever the heck that you want now give me just one second here and I am going to put all of the trees back on here in just a minute so please hang tight thanks for hanging on everyone I really appreciate it oh man I wanted to bring you back in here one last time so you catch just an absolutely perfect view oh this is just phenomenal you have to have to love it oh man I tell you what everyone this map right here is just fabulous for wanting to paint a picture and to tell your story oh man the, the possibilities really are endless on what you want to do, whether you want to do forestry or any of that. The options are completely yours. But you don't have to take my word for it. Go ahead and download this one for you and try it out. I think you're going to like it. I really think that you're going to like it. <laughs> oh, man. And if you're liking what you're hearing, liking what you're seeing, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Go ahead, and if you want to help the channel out, hit that subscription button. Oh, 
That'd be awfully cool of you. Turn your notification bell to all and make sure you have it turned on. Oof, that'll help out a ton. That way you know when this and other videos will be coming out. Oh, go ahead and share this video with somebody that you know who likes wilderness, likes to start from scratch. Somebody who's interested in playing Farming Simulator, but they're not quite sure, this map. Go ahead and share it. I know you'll I know they'll like it. I know you'll like it and they'll they'll respect you a little bit more afterwards. <laughs> Oh, man, I tell you what, guys, like I said, this is a great map. Go ahead and give it a shot for yourself, and thanks for stopping by.